Hello and welcome to the We Miss the Exit Monaco Grand Prix review. Uh, I haven't gotten around to watching qualifying yet, so the preview will be going soon. Uh, busy day all day uh, and watching the Rangers and the Lightning game right now. So I will uh, be getting to that uh, in just a little bit. So let's just do the review while it's intermission. Uh, Monaco Grand Prix. Um, rain delay right off the bat. Uh, an hour delay uh, they really need to start thinking about delaying these races uh, to the next day I know that's not great for attendance but uh, we don't want a repeat of the race last year where they did a couple laps and called it a day uh, at least this one dried out uh, they made the right call delaying it uh, worked out for the best I think um, but it was a great race um, so let's get into uh, the results Perez with the win uh, over Sainz P3 and Verstappen, oh, sorry, Sainz P2, Verstappen P3. Leclerc started uh, P1, ended up in fourth, Russell in fifth, Norris sixth, Alonso seventh, Hamilton eighth, Botas ninth, and Vettel tenth. Uh, Leclerc, just really bad luck. Uh, Pitts um, really screwed him on this race. He easily could have won it, I think, um, if it wasn't for the pit. So it came down to strategy. Perez. Uh, the master at keeping the tires uh, did a great job. Uh, what also helped the race, uh, at least the leaders and top six, uh, Alonso and his train of cars. Um, Alonso just holding up everyone right behind him, including Hamilton, got to the point where everyone seems like they just gave up. And um, it uh, r really made it pretty boring. Uh, kind of shows that um, maybe these cars are too big for Monaco. I, I've always been a fan of Monaco, the Grand Prix, the classic F1 track, but uh, I think it's time to let it go to rest if they're not uh, not going to make any changes where any passing can happen. Uh, I mean, strategy is always great, but you need some passing. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll see what happens. Um, so... Uh, getting into the race itself, um, here are my predictions for the Monaco Grand Prix on the left. Uh, what actually happened should be on the right, um, but I didn't actually update it. Um, I wrote close because they ended up in the top 10, uh, but did not get uh, what I actually predicted. So, uh, Claire, again, uh, I predicted it was going to win the race, ended up in fourth. Signs uh, ended up in second. Verstappen ended up in third, so I got two exactly right. Everyone else, I, I had the top 10, um, just only had two dead on, but I feel like getting the top 10, felt pretty good about that. And my driver of the day is Sergio Checo Perez. Um, going, uh, winning the race, obviously, uh, definitely puts him up there. He had a great race, did a great job at keeping signs behind him. Um, I know a little bit of controversy with the pits, um, the Red Bulls coming out of the pits, but... I think that was a, a nothing. Uh, I really don't think they did anything wrong. Uh, and Perez had a great race keeping him behind him. Um, he's great. Uh, and he definitely deserves driver of the day. So after the Monaco Grand Prix, uh, Verstappen remains on top with 110 points. Leclerc is in second. Perez is in third. Russell's in fourth. Sainz in fifth. Hamilton in sixth. Norris in seventh. Botas in eighth. Akan in ninth. Magnussen in tenth. Ricardo in 11th, Sonoda's in 12th, Gasly's in 13th, Vettel's in 14th, Alonso's in 15th, Albon's in 16th, Stroll's in 17th, Joe is in 18th, Schumacher in 19th, still with zero points, and Latifi in 21st. Constructors Championships, Red Bull is in the lead, Ferrari's in 2nd, Mercedes is in 3rd, McLaren is in 4th, Alfa Romeo in 5th, Alpine in 6th, Alfa Tori 7th, Haas 8th, SM Martin 9th, and Williams in 10th. Um, I know right now they're talking battles between Red Bull and Ferrari, but Mercedes is still in this. Um, they are definitely have enough points to be considered a contention for the championship, um, especially if Red Bull and Ferrari run into mechanical issues or any other driving issues. Uh, Mercedes, uh, constant top 10, it's constantly getting points. 
um, can definitely do a great job. They definitely stay in the running. If they figure out their car, uh, they're definitely going to be in it to uh, win the, at least the Constructors' Championships. I don't know if uh, they're even close into uh, being able to get some the Drivers' Championships. Uh, I know Russell's up there, but I don't think that's going to happen. But between the two drivers, they're getting points, and that's what matters when it comes to the Constructors' Championships. Uh, next race, Azerbaijan tomorrow. Again, i got to watch qualifying. I'll do the preview show before uh, the race tomorrow. And... Um, so check back in a little bit. I'll uh, try to watch a little bit of the qualifying during the the third period here and hopefully have the show ready to go uh, after the game and ready for tomorrow. Uh, let me know what you think about my top 10 predictions. Uh, like I said, I was close on eight of them and got two of them dead on. So uh feeling pretty good about that. And check back again probably about an hour for our Azerbaijan Grand Prix preview. Thanks for watching.